Being able to access notes from your past classes is vital for revision, whether that revision is systematic, prescribed, or spontaneous. LearnCube's class review feature makes this easy for both student and teacher. At the end of each LearnCube class, all of the notes and class materials which are left open are saved, including all of the annotations made by teachers and students and the chat history for that class. There are also two extra tabs, QOC, short for quality of call, which will give an indication of any technical issues experienced in that class, and learning analytics, which shows student and teacher talk time during the class, as well as whiteboard interactions, basically meaning how many times they wrote or drew or clicked on the whiteboard. How your students access the class review depends on what LearnCube product you're using. For virtual classroom users, you can click on past classes from your dashboard here. When you open a class review, you simply copy and paste this URL and send it to your student. Alternatively, you can tell your students to add slash hash slash review to the end of the class link that you send them to access the lesson. For an online school or online school light student, it's even easier. From their student profile, they can click on past classes here and access the class review by clicking on the button beside the class they want to revise. Revision isn't the only use for the class review feature. You can actually reload your materials and annotations from any previous class by clicking on this history icon and then searching by date or student username. This is a great way to add continuity to students' classes and their class notes because we're saving previous annotations too and we're building up a virtual notebook with every class. So uh, it's lovely that the feature exists, but how can you really take advantage of it? Here are my top tips on how to use LearnCube's Classroom to get the most out of your class reviews. Remember that any tabs left open at the end of the lesson are saved in the class review. This means if you don't want students to have access to certain materials, you should close those tabs. On that same note, if, like me, you draw a lot in your classes, you should bear in mind that you can have a maximum of six tabs open at a time. To avoid closing whiteboard tabs and losing those notes, it's a good idea to create a blank PDF like this, as PDF files can have multiple pages but take up just one tab. Another consideration is opening extra tabs, which we don't really use in the class, but which you know your student will find valuable for revision. For language teachers, for example, um, you could open up conjugation tables, uh, which add a tab with the various different forms of a regular E or verb, like this one, which your student will always be able to go back and look at. If you're using our online school or online school light, when you click on end class, you'll be prompted to add a short lesson summary. I really recommend adding a quick description of what you've covered. When your student goes to their past classes, they'll be able to search for keywords from these summaries. I might want to take a look at unit two or revise the word despite. And this ensures that I can quickly and easily find the class I'm looking for. Not only does the class review save your materials and annotation, it also saves your place. So I often end the class on the exercise I want to set for homework. If I finish on this writing page, for example, when my student opens up the class review, it'll be the first thing they see. Please note that the class review is not editable, so students can't complete the exercises here. For that, you need to use our homework feature. I'll add a link to a video on that in the description below. So, what has your experience been with LearnCube's class review feature? Have you used other methods to save class notes for your students? I would love to hear what you think, so please do let me know in the comments. Please don't forget to subscribe for more tips and tricks about LearnCube's Classroom and as always, happy teaching.